This is a uh, video unedited in real time of a level 2 arthroscopic procedure, right temporal mandibular joint for a gentleman with pain and clicking and uh, tinnitus. I'm using the Nexus TMJ arthroscope and I've just entered the joint here. You see the arrow you can see on the right of the screen demonstrates the direction that the 30 degree camera is looking in. So I've gone into the back of the joint and I'm looking forward. At the moment, the condyle's being moved backwards and forwards. I'm washing the debris out. There's an outflow needle in. And uh, those are the retro discal fibers you can see there with a bit of debris floating around over the back of it. In the top half of the image is the uh, uh, skull base, essentially the uh, fossa of the joint and the articular eminence. And in the lower half of the screen, is the disc over the top of the condyle. So I'm just orientating myself and washing things out and having a look around and assessing the joint. There's the second trocar, which I've just put in, which is in front of the first. The first trocar having the, uh, the scope in it. And I'll put a little instrument in, a little straight instrument, which I use just to um, move things around and help me see better. So that's the instrument there. That's a 1.8 millimeter diameter instrument. And I'm just pressing down on the retro discal fibers a little. And it just allows me to look forwards in the joint. I can see there's degeneration of the cartilage. There's inflammation of the synovium in the retro discal area. And there is as you can see there, a very large perforation through the disc. And in the middle of that image, you can see the bone of the underlying condyle, which is just moving there. And that cartilage is damaged as well. So this is a, a very diseased joint with disc perforation, significant degeneration, and uh, some inflammation, particularly in the retrodiscal fiber region. So at this stage, decide to use some coblation and some platelet rich plasma so I'll start using a little probe for coblation and I'll also go into biopsy which first actually which I'm going to do shortly with a little grasper and that gets a small amount of tissue two by one by one millimeter diameter which are sent to the histopathologist just to confirm that there isn't any anything unexpected like um, an inflammatory arthropathy or indeed uh, gout detected a couple of cases of gout in this way uh, which is unexpected diagnosis based purely on biopsy There's sometimes a clash of instruments because it's such a small joint and what I've done there is move the scope above and turn the camera so I'm looking down to make it easier for me to uh, uh, biopsy this without the instruments clashing, which I'm going to do there. That little piece is sent off. graspers out and put the coblation probe in and for the next five minutes or so I'm just going to use coblation within the joint.
decide to join assessing and degree of degeneration. That's the end of the tow car with the covalation probe just coming through there. I can use coblation for removing adhesions, um, reducing synovial overgrowth and inflammation, and for destroying debris, which is then washed out.